I would not run if President Trump ran. And I would talk to him about it. You know, I mean, that's something that we'll have a conversation about at some point if that decision is something that has to be made. But yeah, I would, I would absolutely. I had a great working relationship with him. I appreciated the way he let me do my job. Um, I thought we did some fantastically great foreign policy things together. And look, I just want to keep building on what we accomplished and not watch it get torn down. Many months later. Donald Trump now has his first challenger in the 2024 Republican race for president. And it's a woman who once called him a great president. Nikki Haley, the former South Carolina governor and United Nations ambassador, made it official this morning with a Twitter video saying the Washington establishment has failed us. Nikki said she would have news conference. This is a great president. I will never run against him, right? You've seen that. Have you seen her clips? We have about nine of them. There are a lot more than that, but we don't want to bore you. But no, I will never, ever even consider running against the president. He was a great president. Then a year and a half later, I've decided to run for the president. So great. Which is why he's upset because he thinks I'm disloyal. I'm not loyal to anyone. I don't do that. <laughs> really? You should be ashamed of yourself. Former President Trump secured a decisive victory in the frigid Iowa caucuses, pushing America closer to a possible rematch with President Biden. With 97 percent of the vote in, former President Trump received slightly more than 50 percent of the vote. Ron DeSantis came in second with 21 percent, edging out Nikki Haley, who came in a close third. Meanwhile, it was a disappointing night in Nevada for Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley. The former South Carolina governor finished behind none of these candidates. That was the choice. None of these candidates in the presidential primary in which Trump didn't even bother to participate. I think you should quit. The pundits will analyze the results from every angle. We get that. But when you look at how we're doing in New Hampshire, CNN projects that Donald J. Trump will win the Republican presidential primary in New Hampshire. The former president scoring his second decisive victory of 2024, delivering a powerful blow to his only remaining major opponent, uh, primary opponent, Nikki Haley. Now you've all heard the chatter among the political class. They're falling all over themselves, saying this race is over. It's not over. <laughs> Well, I have news for all of them. Woo! New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. Please don't do this. Please, please don't do it. And the next one is my sweet state of South Carolina. Three weeks later. President Donald Trump moved closer to locking up the Republican nomination with a double-digit win over Nikki Haley in the South Carolina primary. Trump defeated the former South Carolina governor 60 percent to 39 percent. I was just informed that we got double the number of votes that has ever been received in the great state of South Carolina. Some of you, perhaps a few of you in the media, came here today to see if I'm dropping out of the race. Well, I'm not. You, you can't win, Powers. Why won't you die? Um, let's just take the temperature as we start the morning here in Texas. If you are for Donald Trump today, Super Tuesday, let me hear you. Yeah. All right. Anybody here for Nikki Haley? Okay. Here we go. Hold on to your butts. Trump dominating tonight. CBS News projects he will win 11 states, including Virginia, Alabama, North Carolina, 
Maine, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Arkansas, Colorado, and Texas. Things are unraveling fast now, boy. <laughs> Get the point. <laughs> <laughs> This is an NBC News special report. Here's Savannah Guthrie. Hi, everybody. Coming on a bit early this morning with breaking news, a big development in the 2024 presidential race. NBC News has learned this morning that Nikki Haley will announce today she is dropping out of the race. Wait for it. I am filled with the gratitude for the outpouring of support we've received from all across our great country. But the time has now come to suspend my campaign. My God. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Always remember if you ain't first, you're last.